Welcome back, everybody. I want to start with a few reminders that we've already talked about in class and then give you all an example of how to proceed with your discussion post, which is due this week. So remember that when we talk about media, we're talking about an institution that appears to often be designed to present the public with news. In reality, the news exists to get you to watch more news. The newspapers exist to get you to buy more newspapers. With this in mind, let's take a look at some of the messages that are offered to the public for consumption, and we will quickly recognize that they tend to fall at one extreme or the other because, again, the media is interested in riling you up and getting you to buy more of it, to consume more of it. So, it's easy to find mainstream messages about police brutality, police misconduct, police abuse of power. Uh, not to say that they aren't legitimate, they absolutely are. But producers aren't interested in their legitimacy so much as their viewability. They want to keep the consumer coming back for more. And to do that, they tell you a story you want to hear. Now, one of the other messages that are offered for consumption are the ones that children get. The ones where police are heroes. You can think of the language that's used in these narratives to describe the police in a way that kids sort of come to see them as only heroes and as beyond the need of oversight. And this plays out in heroization that kids now come to enact scenes of cops and robbers. And when that gets mixed up with our culture of spectacle and shows like cops, we'll get to see what we have uh, in this clip that I'm going to attach. All right, what's up, guys? It's me, Officer JJ, and I'm back with another video, and this time it's going to be a Cops and Robbers video. And I have a suspicious guy I've been, been getting calls about, and so I'm about to go see what's going on with him. Now, fast forward here. You'll notice that this is not unlike, not unlike any episode of Cops that you might see. Uh, or live PD on any Friday or Saturday night or a rerun. They are enacting what they have seen time and again on episodes. Turn around. Face away from me right now. Face away. Face away from me. Face away. Stay right there. Bend over. Stay right there. Stay, stay, stay. Stay down. Stay down. Okay. Stay down. Get up. This is a clip from a YouTube show that this kid has made, and you're welcome to go check it out. He's actually done a few episodes, but think about how this is the final fruit of a long life of seeing the narratives like the one we just talked about, and I'll show you another pic of that here. And also seeing cops and knowing that there's this heroization of being a police officer in the United States and realizing that one of the ways to embrace that is to play cops and robbers, to play out the fantasy. Now, this is the first piece of that children's book that I showed you earlier. And if you look closely, you can see liberty and happiness, deeply patriotic, respect the police, law and order towards young people, law and order. These dog whistles on the very first page of this children's book are ingrained such that children at an early age naturally come to think of the police as beyond reproach. It's the stuff of indoctrination. Now we can talk about cops, which is sort of the flip side to what we give adults through uh, public media. And I want to point out a few things that happen, and then we're going to do this together in real time with a quick clip that you probably already watched if you've completed the part of the assignment this week that requires you to watch some live PD and cops clips that I've collected for you. During these clips that often seem like there's no narrator at all, and it's simply a cameraman riding around with a cop, and you're getting this raw, real, uncut footage, this, this image and snapshot of what policing is like in the United States. Keep in mind that there's always a producer nearby and that time and again, if you watch closely, you'll find things like many of the police officers are naturally introduced and humanized through quick introductions that you almost don't notice because they seem to just occur right before the event. Uh, our unit typically rides two people to a car. 
Um, I've been riding with Jeff for the past almost eight years now. It really helps out. We have two sets of eyes as I'm driving around or if Jeff's driving around. The other person could be looking around and just kind of keeping an eye out for what's going on. There's also invi invisible edits. You'll notice this in the cops episode with the footage of the guy being bitten in the neck by the dogs that at various times they cut to scenes that the suspect is still positioned very near where they cut from, but he's bandaged up so he's less bloody. He looks more presentable and it looks less violent. Oh, that's the, 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 uh, that's it, the, the taser probe in the right arm and then uh, dog bite up in the... Uh, the taser. Yeah. Yeah. Well, one probe, yeah. So you, you heard the announcements, you just didn't know what they were saying? Yes. So why wouldn't you surrender to those announcements though? Same reason I surrendered to you guys when I was running on Bethany Hall. Why is that? Because I was trying to get away. You'll also see at times that at the end of these clips, there is a recap where the police officers get together, sometimes with the suspects, sometimes with their superiors, and they discuss what just happened, but they they talk about it in a way that glamorizes their behavior, lest uh, in the future it is construed on television as being out of the norm or as being something that we as the general public should not be okay with. Why didn't you just tell us right up front that you had a warrant? You would have taken care of it a lot easier than getting bit by a dog. Yeah. Why didn't you just tell us up front, bro? I didn't think about that. Okay. Well, do me a favor. Yes. The next time you hear the warning, simply give up. Because now i got to write a ton you of paperwork. You bet your ass. All right. Well, all right. Good luck to you, Chris. This is what I'll expect you all to do in your discussion post. You're welcome to do it exactly like I'm doing it and to show the video and interrupt it and talk. Uh, you're also welcome to just do this traditionally, link a clip of the video in the discussion, and then follow the prompt. <laughs> 